Hi there, I want to show you guys an advanced tutorial on how to really create nice looking cards to use with eMedia or any card design software and what I believe is the best workflow for, um, for designing a card in general and using a card design software to then print to your Evolus card printer. So here we go, let's jump right in. I like to use Photoshop. Straight off the bat, I'm going to create a new canvas um, and I'm going to call it um, you know, Card Design 1 and you want to make sure that the width is 1016 and your height is 648 in terms of pixels try and make your resolution 300 um, and so there we go that's really quite that's quite it um, you click OK and it creates a canvas and I like designing it in Photoshop because then you have so much more control over design elements eMedia is is there to connect to a database is there to place certain elements on the card and to print um, to the printer. It's not so much a design to make the card pretty software. Uh, I like to go into the software with a nice design already. So if you have a designer, if you are a designer, I highly recommend you go into Photoshop and you make a nice design before you go into eMedia. So I'm just going to spend the next five minutes just quickly creating something that I think would be a nice little design for our um, for our card. So here we go. Okay, there we go. I just have a simple design together, uh, but as you can see, it looks much nicer than if I had to try and put it together in um, in something like eMedia or something else. Photoshop's just easy. You can just turn out a quick design, and there we go. So what I'm going to put in here is the barcode. I'm going to put the barcode in there, and I've got here a name, Stephen Johnson. I've got handyman, which is position. I've got employee number, and I've got a photo. So I've got my design together. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try and remove the elements that are going to be changing. Um, so I'm definitely going to remove employee number, uh, handyman, and Steven Johnson. And I'm pretty much happy with the rest. I can just cover up the photo uh, within eMedia. So let me go and um, file, save as. I'm going to save this design. Let me just go to my desktop example project. I've got my design area. I'm going to save this the Photoshop file. And I'm also going to file save as a JPEG. Uh, within design, card design one, save. And we're done. I'm going to exit Photoshop. And I'm going to take this card design one. And I'm going to open up eMedia. Here we go. We have a blank card. And I'm just going to drag my design in there. I'm going to say right click, adjust to card, there we go. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill in the elements that I decided beforehand I'd want to put on this card. Let me just make this invisible so that the program knows that no humans will be reading this. I just make it slightly bigger, like that. Okay, um, let's put in some text for the person's name and like I explained in the in the tutorial on connecting a database we can just quickly throw that together um, let's in fact connect to a database before we begin tools connect to database real simple you know how to do this already next uh, you want to go to your desktop I've got this little example project here my databases person database one open it up next next sheet number one next modify add records Whew, what's going on next you know, all those things finish and I want to go this text should be name it should be a database field and it should be the person name so I'm just gonna open this up all the way and I'm gonna say resize to fit it should always fit within that area. I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it straight away 
And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And then just bring that down a little bit. And I'm going to say this should be the person position. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to make that slightly smaller. Actually, in fact, I'm going to move this guy up just a little bit like that. And the person position should be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to copy person position. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to say, here are all my text options. I can, um, horizontal alignment should be on the right. I want the color of this text to be white. Um, and I want the data source of it to be the person employee number like that. Um, cool. I'm pretty happy with this. The photo. Uh, let me just connect a photo quickly before I forget. So I'm going to put a photo in here. I'm going to line it up with my design. See, design is just so much easier if you, if you have it pre-designed in an easy design software. So here we go. I put the photo in. I'm going to say it should be a database field as a path. And the database field is person photo. Oh, there I am. Cool. I'm just going to quickly file, save this template as desktop example project templates. And I'm going to say advanced um, design tutorial. And I'm going to save it in there. Cool. Now it's saved. I go to the print area and I have my data connected to my design. As easy as that. Oopsie, I forgot to actually connect my barcode and say that it should be a database field called barcode. Beautiful. And there we go. File, save, and you are connected. Just like that. And we're done.